before he was circumcised and allowed to, to, to study. Not one of them completed the story. For those of you who are Christians and born again or not, you may think that it is something exceedingly uh, new. But you must, don't forget that long before this concept of the Virgin Mary, the African and you may go to the temple of uh, Sataiwan at a place called Abydos, in, again in Egypt. And you will see in the wall, cut into the stone, not only the story in writing, but the pictures of the Immaculate Conception of Isis. The Roman Catholic has a, a prayer that is a copy from this. Holy Isis, Mother of Horus, blessed is the fruit of your womb. The Catholic adopted it as Holy Mary, Mother of God Jesus, blessed is the fruit of thy womb. You got to remember that this came from Egypt to Greece and from Greece to Rome as the Herculaneum worship of Isis. You may go into the same temple and see the resurrection scene. In those resurrection scene, and it had nothing to do with a woman having her hymen and getting pregnant. That's ridiculous. You are now studying biology and you know that is impossible. The Africans along the Nile stated that a woman who became pregnant and by her last menstrual period, she had not cohabit but with but one man. She definitely knew for whom she was pregnant, had an immaculate conception. That was the way it was said until the Nicene Conference of Bishops in 332. It is then that the Greeks and others introduced the concept of having a hymen and being pregnant, and that is the Immaculate Conception. It was not said until 332. I know these things are difficult, and probably you're even angry, but your anger doesn't change facts. You must do the research. You must learn, you must read other books, such as I know that you have read the Torah, or the Old Testament and the New Testament, they aren't the first religious books. Man, there's the Bagida, the Hindus have. There is the Book of the Dead and the Papyrus of Annie and the Pyramid text, the Coffin text, the Osiris drama, and all such works. Thousands of years older than your Old Testament or New Testament or Koran. Thousands of years older. By Africans, not only your Christian Bible taught that Jesus was born in a cave in Ethiopia long before they changed that at the Nicene Conference to a manger in Bethlehem. And for many of you who gonna have the problem when you go to heaven and find that Jesus is black, I know you're gonna have a lot of problem because in your church you see your white Jesus and I know if you went to your church in the morning and saw a, 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 a black Jesus, you're going to faint, more than faint. Some of you going to die because you're not going to the heaven with no black God up there. You, you know that. You, you're accustomed to saying nigga and shit. And you know you, you say it all the time. So I, I'm not, I don't use the term. It's con the word is contemptible. I can't stand people who use the term. I'm just repeating what you say. But then you have to ask the Pope in Rome. Why is it that he goes back to Poland to worship at the feet of the black Madonna and child? Why is the black Madonna and child all over the Spanish-speaking countries? Why is it so? Why is it that the black Madonna icons are all over Russia? Because what you have gotten is Christianity of modern times. Don't forget that Christianity started in Egypt with Pantheus and Botheus, then went to Greece, and from Greece to Rome. I think many of us can quote Bible scripture, but we don't know Bible history. The African that I'm talking about now gave you mathematics. You can't name me one figure, one number was 
developed or given to the world in Europe. You can't name one.